Hey guys, NCS fan 001 here. Welcome you to part one of Let's Play Homefront 2 or Homefront the Revolution Blind. Been excited for this for years. I've been waiting so long. I've been waiting for 13 years for a game to be similar to Freedom Fighters and hopefully just as good. So let's hope Homefront can do that. So, of course, you guys probably remember Homefront 1 came out in 2011. It wasn't that great of a game in terms of its campaign. The idea for it and the setting and everything was good, just the campaign was extremely poorly executed. And the multiplayer was really, really good and really fun, but they completely effed that up when they took the servers down two years after it went up. And that was actually the like only good part of that game. So let's hope this one's better. It is supposed to be open world... It's set in an alternate timeline and more of a reboot of the original than an entirely new game. So, very interesting setting. Oh, I need to turn up my headphone volume. That's better. We're not going to skip... Oh. Okay. Now, you guys remember I sort of stopped doing commentary with Uncharted uh, 4 just because that game was so heavily story-driven... And literally, uh, about half of that entire playthrough was cutscenes and story stuff. This game, I really don't think is going to be anything like that, so I probably will commentate the whole way through, unless it ends up being like a 50-hour game or something, which I extremely highly doubt. So, let's get started. Hopefully they'll better explain the backstory, because I didn't really get the backstory that well. Uh, up the brightness a little bit, just to make sure that it looks a little bit better for you guys. Seriously, I don't care about that. Okay, so we've got story, resistance mode, which is the online co-op. What's under extras? Credits. You could have just said credits. Uh, what do we have here? Turn on the subtitles. Definitely want that on. Uh, aim assist enabled, visuals, controls, invert, Y, sensitivity. We'll up the sensitivity a little bit, but I'll drop it back down if I have to. Sound. We're going to drop all of those a little bit because that's a little bit uh, a little bit high overall, but I can always change that. So let's go to story. New game. Hard in... Oh, there's only three difficulties? Really? Hmm. That's interesting that there's only uh, three difficulties. Be warned this will be a challenge, but it's the way the game's supposed to be played. Jeez, I hope it's not horrible. So we'll play hard in because it's the medium difficulty. Ooh. All right, well, that did give me a little bit more of the backstory. That makes a little more sense to me. So, for those of you guys who don't know, I've said that... Oh. 
What do we have here? Hello and welcome to KAC. I'm Su Bing Kang. Today's top story. Preparations begin today for the much-anticipated Patriots Day Parade. This auspicious calendar event celebrates the contribution of the liaison officers who work tirelessly to bridge the gap between the emergency administration and the ordinary citizens. To ensure the safety of the citizens during the parade, Mayor Simpson has vowed to redouble anti-terrorist efforts and has allocated additional peacekeeper resources to tackle any and all criminal activity in the lead-up to the parade. Mayor Simpson has just released the following statement. We all know only too well the threats we face daily here in Philadelphia. The bombings, the shootings, all orchestrated by Benjamin Walker's national network of terror. Rest assured, we will bring these criminals to justice. Peacekeeper patrols keep our streets safe and secure for all citizens. Thanks to improved threat recognition systems and drones, potential off, terrorists right? can be identified and neutralized swiftly. He calls us terrorists after what he's done? He wouldn't be so confident if he knew Walker was right here in Philly. Yeah, Walker's really gonna stir things up. How long till he's due? Five minutes. Hope one of those new drones is not scanning. Are we ready? I think so. <laughs> it's something, eh, Brady? Only been, what, uh, three days with us? And you're gonna meet Walker in person? He's the whole reason I'm here. He's inspired all of us. Brady, can you pass me some gas? Oh, so you want me to fart? Thanks. I guess Walker was a legend in Washington, too, huh? I heard a little about what happened there. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here with us. Hey, now. guys, there's something weird. The streets deserve it. What? Shit, is it us? Walker's gonna be here any minute. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Well, I'll say just from the beginning, the graphics are not really impressive. But I've always said, like, if it came down to a resistance-type thing ever had to happen in America, I would definitely want to be part of it, so... That's one reason I love games and ideas like this. Red Dawn's one of my favorite movies of all time. The original, not the shitty 2012 remake. Hello. Thank you for waiting so patiently. We can get started now. So, you are gonna tell me where I can find Benjamin Walker. Wasting your time here. Last thing I heard, Walker was down in Memphis. You know I have superpowers. Fuck your powers, you pathetic little traitor. Oh, sounds like someone needs a demonstration. I'll show you exactly how powerful I am. I take my hand like this. I point. Very and do it, you son of a bitch. Ooh. No! No! Really, no. that's something. So, how about it? Are you ready to talk now? <laughs> I'm getting tired of your bullshit! Jeez. Start talking. I won't go so easy on you. It's Walker. Oh. Oh, this guy's so, this guy's badass. Dang. He even gets shot in the kneecap and he's still fighting. Well, I guess this isn't a cutscene, so I guess I can talk anyway, but. It is kind of a cutscene. Take that knife. Take that knife. Oh, great. An escort mission to start out the game. That's just what we freaking need. 
I'm probably going to let this first video run a little bit shorter just so I can make sure it gets up in a reasonable time, but all the later episodes are going to be longer, so don't worry about that. But so far, the graphics aren't overly impressive or anything, but like I said, I've been excited for this game for a long time, and I really hope that it's at least fairly good. I am disappointed, though, that there's no multiplayer. No true multiplayer. There is the co-op mode. I may have to uh, cut out parts of this or turn down the music or something just in case it's copyrighted or just uh, something like that. I may. I don't know yet. And now it's on a black screen. This is the place. We should be safe here for now. Alright guys, I think that's a uh, pretty good stopping point for this quick first video. Like I said, later videos will be longer. Just wanted to make sure that this one could uh, be up and ready fairly quickly. So, see you guys next time.